Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social this side and today we are going to see about the monitor tab inside the ADF pipeline. So go to in the browser and we'll see about the monitor. So here we are. So in the last video we have discussed about the copy data activity. If you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward and I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video. So you can directly go and watch. So in the copy data activity, we are going to load the data from our source to destination and in our source that is the Azure SQL and in the destination that is again Azure SQL. So we are going to load the data from employee table to the employee destination table that we have already seen in the last video. So let me try to debug this. So it will take a little bit time so we can wait. So here it is executed successfully. Now in the left side we can see the author tab and after that we can see the monitor. So we can click on the monitor tab. And in this video we are going to see about this monitor tab. So here we can see the first option is the dashboard. So in the dashboard as of now we don't have any dashboard. So it's blank here. Now inside the run we can see the pipeline run and second is the trigger run. So let me click on the pipeline run. So in the pipeline run here we can see the two option. First option is triggered and second option is the debug. So as we did not discuss about the trigger. So when we are going to execute our package by using trigger. So that execution we can see here. But we have executed our pipeline by using debug option. So that's why in the debug we can see all those. So this is the pipeline name that is copy details and second here we can see this pencil icon. So let me click on that pencil icon. So once we have clicked on that pencil icon, it is directly jumped to that pipeline. So let me go again inside this monitor tab. So after this pencil icon, we can see this detail. So let me click on this consumption. So it is going to display whatever the consumption that we have used for this pipeline run. So that we can see here the activity run quantity is one and here we can see the data movement activity pipeline activity and external activities. So total we can see right here. So this is in the hours. So let me close this. Next we can see the run start. So when we have executed that pipeline so that we can see here when that pipeline got completed. So that is the run end. After that we have the duration. So what time it take to execute the package. So here it took only 8 seconds so that we can see. After that what is the status so that we can see right here the status of the package. Next we can see the triggered by. So triggered by is the manual trigger because we have executed this package by manually clicking on the debug. After that we can see the error. If your package will have any error, then status will be the failure and in the error will be going to have a button. So let me try to select this with the last seven days in the filter. So here it is failed. So in the last two we can see here we have this error. So let me click on this. So whatever the error that we had while we have executed this package so that we can see here. So we can close this. Now we have the run ID. So for every execution we are having a unique ID and that ID is the run ID. So this is all about the monitor under the pipeline run. Now here we can see the filter options. So the first filter option as we have already selected for the last seven days. So we have the last 30 days and the custom so that we can select and we can check the execution of the package between those days. After that we can see the pipeline name. So here we can select the pipeline names by which we want to check. For example, we want to check only for the copy details. So we can select that and after that we need to click outside this. So let me click here. So it will be filtered. So copy details is executed four times and every time it is succeeded. So this is the pipeline name and after that we have the status. So here we have the succeed in progress queue failed and cancelled. So these are the status that we have. 
so we can filter out this list by using these statuses as well and here we have this add filter option so let me click on this add filter here we can see the in this drop down we have this annotation so we can also add the annotation and we can add the filter for that so this is all about the pipeline run if you go inside the trigger option then we'll be going to have all those same options that we have seen in the debug so next we can see the trigger run so trigger run is the same thing that we have seen under the pipeline run under the trigger so here we have only the filter option for the scheduled tumbling window storage event and custom event so we did not discuss about the trigger and trigger types so that we'll be going to see in the upcoming videos in this video you can only check if your pipeline is executed by using any one of these triggers so we can also check those triggers here now we can see the run times and sessions so we have the integration run time so integration run time we did not discuss at yet so integration run time we can check here like by default we'll be going to have this auto resolve integration run time and the type is the azure so this type integration run time is automatically and default available in your azure data factory and here we can see the filter for the self hosted azure ssis and azure so that we can click and it will be going to display the information only for those type of the integration runtime now let me go in the data flow debug so as of now we don't have any data flow debug we'll be going to see in the upcoming videos last we have the notifications and where we can set the alert and matrices so let me click on that so here we did not created any alert or the matrix so that we can see not available like we don't have any result so in this video we are not going to more concerned to create the alerts and matrices so we'll be going to see in the upcoming videos as well so this is all about the monitor tab so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video